Hello and welcome back again to this video with the continuation of the last video we look at how to place a text using the effects uh, which is already in Caden Life and now we're gonna look at how to do the same thing placing text behind an object using the rotoscoping mask so let's get started let's start with a very simple one so here we got this video clip here uh, we need to copy this so selecting it and copy and then um, right click again and paste and we need to paste this in track number three but there's no track three here so what we can do is uh, right click here inside a track can be either above or under uh, and then you can click ok and let's move this uh, clip up which is the copy of this clip here and then let's go to the text here which we already created this text placing it here and then make the length equal to the other two clip here so we want the text to be somewhere here so let's just move this one out and then um, go to the effects using the transform effect here apply it to the text and then selecting it come to the um, text uh, the transform properties here in the y let's just reduce this little bit down somewhere here to touch the, kind of like touching this side little island thing here and then from the x value let's just move it somewhere here and then uh, from the while let's just move a little bit down here and now let's bring back our top video clip let's go to the effects again and selecting the rotoscoping mask if you're in the main video effects or if you're in the all video effects you have the rotoscoping and rotoscoping mask you can use either of these two so let's select one of them and apply to the top video clip and you can see the yellow borderline here indicating the um, rotoscoping mask is active so what we can do now is to apply to the clip so we want to just go around here so from the bottom we are not really uh, concerned about this but from here is where we just want to cut through up here and then go somewhere here so all you need to do is just um, click the mask around the object that you want to mask it out Okay, so this one's uh, not really concerned there because it's out of the text. The text is somewhere here. So let's just um, do a wrap click around there to create the mast. Once you come to the end to connect these two together, make sure to do a right click. So when you do a right click, you join the two connections together. As you can see, our text is already here. So because of it cuts through and make a hard cut, so let's just uh, reduce this one a little bit down, this one a little bit down there, and then from the pedal width, let's just type in 10, or you can go up 10, to create this nice little paid in, or fades in with the uh, grasses here. As you can see, so that's the best example we can use, placing it behind an object. Let's look at the second example. Also, shift to click in the track and do a rubber select of all of this and then delete let's go back to the project bin and let's bring in another click so just trim a little bit down here place in the bottom right click ungroup delete the audio and then right click selecting it right click again copy and paste here move this one to the top bring in our text and uh, let's change the name of this so let's double click on it go to the text editor and change this to uh, let's put text behind and then change the size to 300 and um, let's place it right in the center there and then update this so we have that so let's see so from here we can move out the clip to see so we can see the text is right there using the transform here to edit onto to move the text up or move it down but i think this is okay so let's uh, move back our top video clip here and then again go to the alpha mast and king and select rotoscope and apply to and now we need to just uh, must out the shape so here this is where the complication uh, you have to go frame by frame because this is a moving person in the previous one it's just a still animation but this one you can see this lady is pedaling the um, little boat here or the outrigger canoe here so what we can do is go frame by frame so it takes a little bit time patience when you do this 
to have the perfect or the nice one that you want it to be. So let's get started. So we already applied the um, rotoscope to it already. So let's uh, go full screen and uh, just start it from the head here down, something like that. Come around here and uh, go down here. Since we know the text is somewhere here, so when we come here, somewhere here, we just cut it to the other side and then come here. Let's move this one here. And then I want to follow the ads on this one. So again, it takes time, patience for you to do this nicely. And then we join again by a right click to join the two connection here. And you can see the text there. So this is the tricky part here. So let's go out again, see if the um, our playheads would be in the beginning of the clip here. So you can see. And then um, because we did somewhere here, we got a keyframe here. So let's go full screen again. And you can see this little X here. This is where you grab onto this and move it to fit into that. And um, you can see this little box here. This is where you grab it and move it to the ads. And you can see this little other what here. You, this is where you just nicely move it to make a little cap, the handles here. So use these handles to uh, make it uh, more nicely round, like what we are doing now. And over here, so I'm going to go 10 frames at a time, but if you want to do it nicely, you can go one frame at a time because it's time consuming. I just want to show the examples of how we can do that. So let's go 10 frames at a time. So here I've got full screen, so I use the arrow. So one, two, three, four, five six seven eight nine and ten and then using the little x here to grab it now take note that once you grab this one and you're moving it automatically it inserts a keyframe so you don't need to go in and out to uh, insert the keyframe so just nicely move this one in like that and then move again one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so I'm moving 10 frames, which is going to be not really good, but you have to, if you have time and patience, you can move in one frame at a time. So this is how we can do. Simply uh, align it, move one frame, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then move this one to fit into this shape. And if you see that it's not fitting in like what we are looking at it now, uh, use the little squares here to move up. And then use the handles here to nicely save that okay so that's what we can do again take note once you move the mast you're already inserting a keyframe so you don't need to go in and out for example grab on this and you're moving so let's go one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and then you grab this and moving it around you are creating once you release your hand you are creating the keyframe okay so that's how we can do that let's go out again so you can see that we have already let's zoom in more here you can see that we have already inserted some keyframes here so uh, what we learn in this example is um, you have two video clip place a text in between apply the uh, rotoscope here and then if you need to move the text you can apply the um, transform here to the text and move it up in what position you want and then from here we must the shape and then the important thing is to concern about where the text cuts through. So this is where the text cuts through. So we just want to do this nicely. For this other part, we're not really concerned about that. So, and then if you want to, you can use a little bit of para here. So just put in two to nicely fade in with this one. So again, if you do nicely, you have time, patience, you can do So that's all for this video and um, thank you for watching. Hope you learned some little technique from this. Uh, it's a common thing that um, uh, you can watch other video editors to see the exact um, information or you watch this video to know how to do that in Caden Life. Okay, thank you again and see you back again in another video.